In this problem, let's consider the team members as elements and the teams as set of disjointed union data structure. Now we will have three types of queries to execute. The join query will unite two sets which contain elements U and V. The add query will add some score to all the elements in a particular set that is currently containing the given element. And the get query will output the current score or experience point for a particular element. Firstly, we will keep few arrays for different purposes. Here, array P will store the parent of each element. Instead, I will store the current size of set which contains element I. We will know about the array score and extra later in this discussion. We will now take input of each query one by one. When we have a join query, we should unite two sets using the union function. Inside the union function, we have two variables PA and PB, which store the parents of the past argument. Here we have used find function to know the parents. One thing we should notice that in the definition of find function, unlike the previous solutions, we haven't updated P of X with newly updated parent. Now, if the parents are not same, then we will update the parent of smaller set with the parent of larger set. Also, we should update the size for the larger set. Now, one more thing. For the smaller set PB, we will assign extra of PB equals score of PA. As a reminder for future, this is not going to be part of score for the elements where in set PB. Now let's come to the second type of query. It is going to update the score for all elements in a set which contains element X. Here we have called a function update score. It will find the parent of X and update the score for it. Now the third type of query. For get query, we will try to find the score using find score function. Inside find score function, firstly we look for if x is the parent of itself or not. If so, then we can simply return the value of score x. Otherwise, the update of parent for element x might went through several steps. As we only update the array p inside the function, as we update the array p inside the union function, we can now find these steps. For this, we will call the find score function recursively until we reach the base case px equal x. At each step, we will add score x, but we will deduct extra x as it is not the part of current set. If you have any question about this problem, please let me know in the comments. I will try to answer.